What's up boys, so I should have 99 here and today we are back at again with another Batman the Telltale series He's a let's play video Today we'll be playing Episode Episode 4 Guardian of Gotham In my last video, we, in, from what I remember, I think, I'm not really sure what happened last episode, but if it, if I do, I, I will probably have, I felt like I will probably play a clip in this video. We'll probably see, like, like when when we when we dive into this episode. So, anyways, uh, so I hope you guys have had a uh, had a good a good Mother's Day. And to those who have have mums, and to those who who celebrate Mother's Day. And to those who don't have a mom, I hope you had a really good day regardless. So, so anyways, let's, let's dive in to, to episode 4, Guardian, Guardian of Gotham. Previously on the Batman the Telltale series. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. What is it? Why save me? Why was that? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oh, yeah. I got kicked out of my own place. Oswald Some replaced by Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bad tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. Yeah, yeah it's just it's working for uh, us. I so think I, you I may have case. misinterpreted things. Oh. Sorry. Please, Selena. Yeah, I have to tell you how I. Episode. Bruce. A weird, a weird scene. You should. And we have to be a Harvey I'll Dent think about for that. Dropped your pen. That's not. <laughs> Lady Arkham. We found out who that leader was. It's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. I think we got put in. I think we got sent to to Arkham Asylum, and like because we because we got drugged by a pen, and we pretty much. We pretty much be in a Oswald. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. 
Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making Shit. around soon. Doctor? What doctor? So yeah, I've been I've been Is that put in prison. Blood? God, I hope it's mine. I've been put in horny jail. Let's look at the camera. Huge fan of the of the the camera being there because so if I was in jail, I'd probably be I'd probably be doing a lot of Looks doing like a lot of NSFW stuff. In, Lovely, like it, like in the corner. Rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. I feel like that voice is familiar. As you were. Taser. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some 
excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> But in the Telltale series, things John is one of our most improved patients. Spicy, He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! John you knows pretty much our last getting good at me. That's a whole joke, color. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself, man. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Quite clumsy. You remember the Sometimes. first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patients to swallow. No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. They're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. No! They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, Dallas. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. We're gonna take good care of him. Episode 4. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly. Mostly. Roland over there. I'd watch yourself Guardian around those two. Godfell. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. What can I say? Most I always victors. try to keep an eye yeah. out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Get up. Where is the remote? The orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? The key. Wonder where the key goes to. You got Stop a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. 
That's the way the cookie crumbles. Alrighty then. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. I saw the cookie pedal. Not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's just it's just it's his voice. It's driving me nuts. Oh, but you're already nuts, aren't you? <laughs> See what's in the cabinet. Not the right key for this. Nope. Hey, uh, I was wondering it's about it's not much yet. Somehow. <sighs> Actually, I it's wasn't time for meds either. my PC just Beat keeps it. like well, somehow my PC just like hey there, buddy boy. Up, like, you miss me? Like I miss you. Or some sort of pop -ups. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on Wait a second. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. What? Wait a second. Do no reason. No reason. Does oh, Two or does Harvey Dent not have that, that half of his bird face? <laughs> From what I recall, I think we did get the, we did get the, we did get the, the ending where it's like, like where, where Harvey Dent gets his face burnt off, or cough his face burnt. Anyways, it's, 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 it's see what it Cheats. does first. See what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. So, so I think what Victor Zaz does, like, he pretty much puts marks on his body to sort of mark his, like, to sort of mark his victims. Your key? It didn't work. <laughs> of course <laughs> not. <laughs> That's <laughs> not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky trade depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double cross. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I Friends. Look, he doesn't have the, the burn face. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. 
I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Harvey is going way too far. You think so? I can't wait to see where he goes next. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically! Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. Victoria Arkham. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing so your dad well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure, one favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. 
you make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before yeah, you kill someone? Medicine. What are you talking about? And be, be sure to ignore it. Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Ah! Ah! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to contact you, but they wouldn't let me through. They told me you'd lost your mind. Contact my lawyers. You'll need to post bail, but that shouldn't be a problem. You have got to get me out of here. I'll see what I can do. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Pretty grisly scene. Vicky Vale's drugs. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Let's go, Alfred. this entire time and all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me Gotham. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Indeed Gotham has become that much more dangerous and the public opinion on Bruce Wayne well it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. 
Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Yeah. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed okay. in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. Just leave me the hell alone, Harvey. Trust me, it'll be easier for you in the long run. I was doing you a favor, Bruce. If you want to get ugly, well, that can be arranged. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No. I'm just a Two man who's done letting so assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Oh my god. Can't let you keep running around scot free. Since you became two faced the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. We're done talking. What's going on here? Roblox. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Or maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. Damn, I hate That's why I shouldn't sorry. take drugs. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, Any sort of drugs you need to take is the Next good one ones. won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. See this episode. I really, I really want. What do you mean? 
you're leaving. Bruce, like Harvey's clearly him. lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, oh, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Nothing even really happened. Not like he thinks, anyway. I'd rather not die for something I didn't even do. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this. There goes Selena. Wonder if she will appear in, in like in a, in the, the next season. I'm fine, okay. I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. I don't have time to rest. You'll be no good to anyone if you can barely keep your feet under you. Bruce, you look awful. You've had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just oh, focus she's... on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with a DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. do it. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. Yep. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. 
The press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Finn, they've been on the yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time. Breaking Indeed. me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... Met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone John in Bell. Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. It not be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah? Uh, if you do find Miss Vale, please, so be careful. We have an orange. Anywhere and you get strobe lights. Oh, we are back as Batman. And we got to do I'm inside the best. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. It's clean. 
this wasn't used as a murder weapon. And why was it lying on the floor? That was used on the on the head. I think. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Large amounts of blood spatter no across the walls. It's not steady like arterial no spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. I'm guessing that was used on the belt. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. Oh, looks like it must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Thermal vision. Nothing there. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Maybe it's Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had to make that joke. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Alfred, the boy from the photo. 
Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Let's talk to him calmly. How about you come on out? No! No! Go away! I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. What's that say? Get down! What was that noise? Safe, were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true, and I will always owe you one. Batman, indeed. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Just make sure he's taken care of and doesn't fall through the cracks. After what he's been through, he needs a good home. Yeah, I... I actually know the drill. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on yeah. here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Securing the crime scene. Not anymore, you're not. Commissioner. I'm taking Corbin. over this investigation. I'm taking over this investigation. 
And I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just We're trying to contaminate and shit. That's right. And have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads a normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. That Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element because of surprise. just talk him without I any, say you do what you need to do, look, as just stealthily like, as possible. So good plan. Trying to be I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh, Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Visit him as Bruce or Batman. I mean, I've got like half of my suit, so maybe go as Tonight, Batman. Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. It's about time Batman saves Bruce's ass. Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course, of course it was the right thing to do. Oh, I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Dangerous place to stand. Be so easy to slip and fall. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? 
What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. If it comes to that. You think that even comes close to what you let happen to my face? Ah, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little beneath you, Batman. After everything to Bruce has done, God, why God, should I do anything for choice. him? So you would have, you, you would have gone, you would have became two faced regardless. Because I'm the one who's telling out you half to. a face. You think I'm someone who makes idle threats? No, I suppose you're not. Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give this Gordon not that tip. Him. Doing this, you're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answered to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? <laughs> Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Tell me where he is. Now! <laughs> You're too late, Batman. By now, he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. <laughs> Off of Wayne. But not have Commissioner Gordon killed. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Here, Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing enough. Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on! Let's hear it! Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Executions and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend, but he's past saving. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. Indeed. 
My job isn't to save him. If he's hurting this city, then he needs to be stopped. It's all circling the drain. Dent was a real hope for this city, and now... He's not the man he used to be. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But, we gotta start somewhere. Maybe Grogan can help us. Hey, Dent's still the mayor. And then Grogan's a by-the-book cop. Grogan respects you. You're smart. Make him listen. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Lucius, what's the situation? I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. Oh, he's somehow connected oh, sure. a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Should go Wayne Enterprises or Wayne Manor. I'm going home. Understood. I, I don't want anything bad to, uh, to happen to Alfred. Not one step further. Near his heart. Oh, come on, Al. Put the so rifle like down. He's gonna go. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow. I don't believe you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer? When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. They call it war. And I want to win the war. The Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. Alfred has a rifle. You again! I thought we talked about this. The time for talking is over. And so is your reign of terror. So, how does this end? I want to destroy this house, and you want to stop me. <laughs> I can't imagine this is going to go well for either of us. You're going to turn yourself into the authorities. <laughs> I am the authority. Show's over, Dent. Time to go home. You're right. Go home, Batman. I've got an estate to level. Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. You're gonna need more than this, Harvey. I know. Explosive slugs! But you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours! Some 
superpower. Yeah, just stuff. try and hide, Batman. See how that works out for you. No. The bat's mine. Go ahead. Do it. See what happens. This old man needs to die. Get him, Alfred. Your Get head or your heart. Your head or your heart. What's that sound? What the? Understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? The Penguin. Don't you give up on me, Harvey. I know you're still in there. I still believe in Harvey Dent. That's... That's good to hear. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for. He should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Den is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Arkham. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim. I think that might be the end of episode four. Lucius, Al, what's I'm going on? Sure. Bruce, the computer! I've, I've been doing everything I can, but I can't keep him out. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. <laughs> That's one way of shutting down um, your bad tech. That was episode five, episode four. That was a close one, that was a close choice. It's did you promise? It's Joker. <laughs> Wonder why they call him Joker. I like and even though he's not reached Joker level yet. That was a close choice. a good choice. Oh, that almost
was a close choice as well. This one was also a bit close as well. Well, what went, went with going to Wayne Enterprises? I guess that's because, like, like, cause of, like, the Wayne Tech thing, like, because without Wayne Tech, like, what would Batman be? Than just a caped crusader. Like next time on the Batman Telltale series. We are almost there, we are almost there to the final episode of the Batman Telltale series. Season 1. So yeah, I wonder what next episode was going to be like. Because they don't tell you what happens in the next episode. Like, I guess to prevent spoilers. So, in the, so yeah, next episode we'll be playing episode 5. City of Light. And after that we'll be moving on to, to season 2. Which I'm curious to what that will be like. Anyways, that, 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 that's the end of, of episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, and also comment below what you think of these videos, like if, like if I should continue to make more of these. Since and what other games I should make a let's play series on and like or even a live stream on if this video reaches let's say 3 likes or 4 likes or even 5 likes which I hope we get to 5 likes like I will make I will make a video on episode 5 that being said guys, so I will see you guys in the next video.